immer noch nicht rausgefunden, warum ich auf meinem iPad keine Kommentare sehe. Hm. Hey, mein Hase. Alles gut bei dir? nicht was? Jupp. <lacht> Hello my friends. Thank you for tuning in. It's Monday evening. Probably from the most people the most hated day. Ah, okay. Kannst auch keine Kommentare sehen? Hm. Ja, komisch. Muss ich mal kontrollieren, warum das so ist. Nehmen wir. Gerade rausgucken. Oh, okay. Das war's nicht. Das ist zu hell. Hm. Da kann ich selber kommentieren. Ja, keine Ahnung. Ich muss mir, glaube ich, mal wo angucken, warum das so ist. Hi Conny! <lacht> Unser super Airbrusher ist on. <lacht> Conny, hau doch mal deine Adresse. Das iPad habe ich quer. Conny, hau doch mal deine Adresse von deiner Airbrush-Seite rein, wenn du magst. Dann haben wir die auch mal so zwischendrin. So, für alle die, die hier zuschauen, können das ruhig auch mal sehen. Okay, hello my friends. For those who don't know me, my name is Angela Bailey and I am the owner and creative energy of Elfen und Helden. Um, Elfen und Helden uh, is located uh, nearby Frankfurt in Germany and we do rhinestone designs, custom shirts and also um, furniture painting, furniture art and all different sorts of um, Yeah, creative things, small or big, and things like that. Yeah, sehr good. Um, and tonight I have planned a little um, project um, with something from IKEA. Because I think IKEA has got um, lovely stuff, but some of it is, um, or is luckily very plain, because that gives us creatives a good opportunity to um, yeah, do something with it. So when you're tuning in, just let me know where you're watching from and um, yeah, if you if you're creative yourself, if you do um, little things or big things yourself, and uh, just let me know where you're from. That'll be great. And um, first, I'm going to show you what we are working with. 
the uh, paints we are using tonight is um, they are from Dixiebel. Dixiebel is a paint company from America and they are um, since a couple of weeks over here in Europe. Um, what I'm very excited about because uh, I'm following those paints uh, quite a while now and um, I've worked with quite a lot of paints and uh, they all have their yeah, positive things, they have their negative things. But I was really waiting for those um, Dixiebel paints because they're so easy to work, they are eco-friendly and um, they've got uh, great colors. And for me, as I'm also a diving instructor, a lot of their paints have got like uh, water um, names like whatever, mermaid tail and uh, pure ocean and sandbar and whatever. So that um, suits me also. So I'm first going to show you the colors we are working with. We are working with tonight with um, pure cotton and with uh, Mason Dixon gray, which is um, a middle gray. And uh, pure cotton is a pure white. We are probably going to use some of their waxes in grunge gray and in clear. And we're going to top the whole thing off. I'm going to show you in a minute um, what it is we're working on tonight. We are going to top it off with, um, with a top coat this time, which is Gator Height. Uh, usually you don't, or you don't really need to um, seal those paints. But um, for certain projects um, which are going to be used, uh, like a surface of a kitchen or something like that, um, you can do that. And this is for a very durable um, top coat. So this is what I'm going to use for this. Obviously, a couple of brushes. Maybe we're going to use some sanding paper. I'm not sure. We're definitely going to use a cloth and doing some bed distressing and this is what we are working on tonight. It's a tray from IKEA. That's the the one. Can you see that which one it is? And it's got a nice yes yeah, a nice wooden finish. Oh, and the main thing, and we're going to stencil it with this one. And this I've made myself basically. If you want to have a stencil like that, just uh, let me know. I can do something like that for you also. So, let's get started, I would say. I think I'm going to put the camera down so you can um, see what I am doing because my face is not that interesting. And um, testing on. So, I think that's it. Can you see? Yeah, I think you can. Okay. I'm first going to clean it off. I've just taken it out of the package, so it should be clean, but I'm going to clean it um, anyway. Um, for Dixiebel paints, um, they are chalk mineral paints. As I said, very eco-friendly and um, you don't need to, to prep your surface or anything, but what I'm always going to do is like cleaning it. Um, I've got a cleaning solution in here, so I'm just putting my gloss on and I'm just gonna wipe it off. That's it. Whatever you do, Give it a good clean, give it a good rub, and um, because you don't know who's been touching it or who has been standing around, especially when you do furniture or something like that. You don't know if the people were smokers or whatever, or have done a lot of cooking and things like that. I'm gonna show you that again. So. This is basically the tray I'm using from IKEA and it is called, it is 
account. I'll put that in the comments later. It doesn't say on here, it's just basically the article number. But it's um, pretty nice and big and it's beautiful like this, honestly, you know. But I want to do something else with it. So, clean it. Gonna use some water afterwards because I don't want to have any cleaning solution left on there also. And then we can start with the painting. I think I'm going to grab myself this. Let's see. Put it in here. Yeah, that's probably easier for painting. Yeah, I think that's okay. So I can't see your comments at the moment. So um, whenever you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. Comments. Um, I'll come back to them later. Uh, you can feel free to leave them either in German or in English, um, as you wish. Uh, probably any other language also. I found out that the Google Translator is um, pretty good and very helpful. So we're going to start with, we're going to start, let me think, we're going to start with um, Mason Dixon Gray which is a nice middle gray and all nice and sealed. Give it a good shake. As I said, it's a chalk mineral paint and you just give it a good shake that the, um, the pigments are mixed up properly. And you see in a minute that it really has got a very good coverage. So, let me just show you. There's this lid. It's like me and paints. I'm very good at making a huge mess in just a second. So, this is their gray. It's got almost like, um, like a lavender touch to it, which I think is going to, to look very cute on that, um, on that tray. So, I'm first going to use the, the paint from the lid because that's quite a lot, you see in a minute. And I'm going to use my, which one am I going to use? I'm going to use the oval medium. The oval medium is also a brush from um, Dixie Bell. It's, um, it's like, um, it's a synthetic brush and it's got nice firm bristles and um, it's beautiful. It's new. I just unpacked it. And I always like to work with a damp brush. So I'm first going to damp it up a little bit. And um, so it's easier to maneuver the paint. I'm gonna have to stick some there just for, that for a minute. And then I'm going to use the paint out of the lid first. and. We put on the first coat. That's it. You can see it's a nice coverage already. And um, I'm not putting much paint on the uh, brush also. This is going to be, yes, going to have like a bit of the farmhouse. Um, well, people who know me know that I like um, doing the farmhouse style because I think that goes very well also with every modern bits and pieces. So, I'll take my, the gloss off. I just needed them for the for a cleaning solution, but the paint I can handle without gloss. So as I said, paints are very eco-friendly. Let's run the lid, don't want to have that. And 
they're all or most of the Dixie Bell products are water-based, even their, their waxes, which means that it's easy to clean as long it's um, as long it's um, just a little paint. And you see how well this paint covers. So they are all water-based, and um, as long the paint is still wet, you can. Um, Clean it up easily. And inside. So we're gonna do two coats. I'm going to use the um, a hairdryer in between to speed up the drying process. I mean the paint dries pretty quick, but I want to have it a little quicker. Is I'm not the fastest painter, maybe it's already dry. <laughs> Finished putting the first coat on. I don't know. And you're just popping on, just let me know where you're watching from and um, if you maybe um, used Dixie Bell paints before, also. And um, Maybe somebody is here from the Frankfurt area also. You use Dixieville paints, what you think of it. I am also a premier retailer for Dixieville over here in Germany. Nearby Frankfurt. Let's move it down a bit. And Dixieville paints, they are also a self-leveling paint. So brush strokes are going to level themselves out. While with the farmhouse um, style, you always like to, you don't mind having some, some brush strokes. So I'm checking on my iPad if you can see properly what I'm doing here. To do the outside. One coat, one first coat also. Tricky on this round thing. Let's see, I should have put that thing on one of my cheese trays, which you can swirl around. But um, however, I forgot about that. It's gonna work like this now. So now I'm saying it's got a crack there. We dropped it. I think or somebody, I'm not sure. I'm gonna work on that later. So first coat almost on. And I'm planned on doing, I want to have the gray little thicker on there, but I prefer doing um, several thin coats instead of one thick. And um, so it's going to get a little loud for a second. I'm just going to use the hairdryer to get it dry. I can see 
see how there the color changes. It's already drying up there. And it's really, really fast. And snap the second coat on basically then on the brush a little bit and just a little paint again just like dab your brush in there and then you go everything because she's drawing it up first and then she's spraying it wet again and the paint is a little wet you can um, move it a little easier and spread it out a little easier and the coats are not getting so thick and the coverage is still really really good so that's why I am dampening the paint a little bit And after that gray, I'm coming back with some white on top. And on the corners, the white is going to get rubbed back a little bit. Like a little distressing. Let's see, I think it's again spread it out so if you want to have like a very smooth finish you obviously just like go force and black like this and then cross like this to smooth it down a little bit but as I'm not worried about uh, a smooth finish for this. I'm doing some going a little across like this. Sides again. Whenever you're popping on, just let me know where you're watching from. And um, you've been doing today have you done a project also today or have you been working I know Connie you have been working today I've been on the balcony basically the whole afternoon organizing my pots and stuff like that for winter because it's um, well we already had the first frost I hope um, nothing was harmed but um, got some fern today and um, put it over the flower pots and stuff like that and this um, bubble foil wrapped it around it so it's not um, it's not getting damaged by the frost. outside quickly if you like this gray or what colors do you prefer you can let those right off that um, small bucket I've got it on here just to get it a bit uh, So, and with those trays, you, oh, you can do a lo loads of things. I mean, you, the, the stencil I'm using uh, tonight is just like an example. I mean, you can do anything with it. You can do initials or stuff like that. It's also a great uh, present for somebody, you know, or family names or whatever. There's loads of ideas for it. 
This is just um, so. That's it. Put it all around. How's the weather at your place? It was like windy today here. It was raining. The sun came out a little. And the whole weekend it was just like raining most of the time. Saturday was quite alright, but yesterday it was just well. So the shop yesterday it was a a lonely day out there. Oh, okay. So a little, oh, hang on, guys. Sorry, I'm back. Here I am. Okay. So, I'm gonna dry that quickly also. Okay, you're done for a second now. And, um, but, um, when you're just popping on, just say hello, then I know that you're there. I'm gonna dry that quickly again. Yeah, sorry guys. come over it with the cotton and cotton is a uh, pure white which I think is going beautifully with this um, with this gray I think I'm gonna move that a little more to the middle is that better hello Marsha <laughs> thanks for popping in so shake your paints up always really well they are chalk mineral paints so hang on you step before okay it open now. and the project i'm working on tonight is uh, a little tray from ikea and the only thing I've done to it, I've cleaned it nicely and now I'm painting it. So I'm using my mini brush. This is also from Dixie Bell, the mini brush. I like it because it's just got like a short, a short handle and I don't like those long handles. I prefer the short handles. So I'm going to dampen it up also. Just try to keep my brush and the project a bit moist. And then we are going over it. So that's it. And 
I'm not worried about um, like clean strokes or anything because I like to give it a bit the vintagey old look at the end so I'm doing a bit of the cross hatch and also just a bit more water also when you're watching the replay just pop in the comments where you're watching from so I know that you've watched it and what you think of it. If you maybe have also an idea for, for a tray. As I said, we're using a, a stencil on it later. And you can basically stencil anything on it. There's, um, you don't have to do the one I'm using. You can also do like um, initials or something like that which is going to be a very personal present then for somebody especially now for christmas this might be an idea for christmas also oh whoops bristle bristle Bristle, bristle, I don't want you on there. Uh. Come on, darling. That's it. Don't worry. That's it. <laughs> Made a mess for a, for a moment, but saved it already. Well, the paint is still wet, it's not a problem. Around the outside. And the white I'm just doing, I think I'm just gonna do one coat because I don't mind the, the gray looking through. Wet is uh, when the paint is um, drying up, you just put a little bit of water on there and um, and the, the bottle I'm using um, this is just like a very fine spraying and um, oh, from Italy, hello to Italy, hello Donna, <laughs> thanks for watching, thanks for popping in. Um, it's got a very fine mist if you can see that um, which is uh, nice because it doesn't leave any drips on some projects you want to have big drips so can you can use like a normal water sprayer you know you use for plants or something like that you know like something like this you know I've got this also um, and you want to have like really dripping paint or something like that you can use that but when you just want to keep your paint moist you can use this and i think this is um dixiebel has got them also but i think they originally came from the hairdressers And for those who are just popping on later, this is a tray from IKEA. And um, the first color I've put on is uh, Mason Dixon Gray, which is a nice gray. And 
him. Over here, I can't really see what the line is about. I think it is, yeah. Got it off. So, a little bit on the outside. And I'm not worried about full coverage because I like the, the gray coming through. And I want the uh, like a bit old used look. And uh, that's what I'm basically going to do on the inside here also. I'm just gonna Use a cloth, wet it a little bit, and then go just around like this a bit and wipe it off where I don't want it. So now it's pretty easy because it's still wet, especially on those corners. It's this hairy night tonight. <laughs> hairy night. So I'm just gonna dry it off again. And then I'm going to use the stencil over it because I don't want to have like a full coverage and I might distress it later on a little more. I'll see when the thing is done. Put that to the side. Who has used um, Dixie Bell before from you? Anybody? Sorry loud. Nice. 
nice and dry now. Yeah, Marsha, you're um, watching a lot of um, painting tutorials. Honestly, with um, painting, there's really nothing you can do wrong. You know, there's like everybody has got his own way of doing things. You know, there's a lot of ways to do something also like this. But this is the way I like to do it. And this is the way I like, you know, to it to look like. Yeah. So... Um, I hope you learned something from this and you can take something with you and um, say for yourself, oh, okay, that's a good idea. I like to do it that way. So, this is now the stencil we are putting on. So, I already made a mistake because uh, I didn't have the tray with me when I was doing the, um, the stencil on my computer designing. So I've used the measurements IKEA um, put to the to the tray, but I think those are the measurings from the outside. So what I have to do first is cut it a little down. I mean it's nice and round, so I'm just gonna give it a just like a bit. You can see. was not perfect but this way around we can handle it easy I think I'm gonna take a little more off here Let's see in a second how it's gonna fit in there and this um, stenciling material I've got here is from Oracle. As I said, I'm also doing uh, rhinestone designs and custom shirts and stuff like that. So I've cut, got a cutting machine where I can do those stencils myself. Um, so if you need something like that, um, I can do this for you. That's no problem. And the stenciling material is called Aura Mask. It's a masking film, film from um, Oracle and um, yeah, it's uh, basically, I need a bit of space now, and I'll show you when I've taken that off, I just need a squeegee, where's my squeegee, hang on guys, I just gotta get my squeegee. Always keep your tools on hand, which I haven't. Sorry about that. Back on sack. Got it. Not my squeegee. You, this is a squeegee. You could also use like a credit card or something like that, or if you work with. Um, with those um, transfers from IOD or Primary Design, they always have like one of those uh, rubbing things in there. You can use those also. So, just gotta get that off the backing. So, on top of the, I'm first gonna check if it fits in there. Now, I've gotta take a little more off, I think. Make a little more off. So I want to fit it nicely in there so it doesn't um, fold up or anything. So that's not a little more. Sorry about that. But with painting and arts and whatever, there's always, you always gotta have a plan B. And at the end, if you don't like it, it's only paint, redo it, no problem. So I think that, yes, this should do it there. There it is. Okay, so then we 
take it off. There is a masking film on top of that um, stenciling material. Which I'm going to show you, which makes it easier to transfer it to the project. And can you see that? Yeah, you can, I think. Peel the backing back. Make sure that the the whole material is staying on the set. on the outside okay that's the paper also that would be paper so and then we're going to put it on here like like this does it look Let's see that looks good to me it on. I think I'm going to put that on the... That's a bit more solid now. That's better. I can just dry anyway. And you just squeegee it on. Make sure that the... Um, that the corners are down. So this um, stenciling I'm putting it on top of the, the paint now straight away. If you are worried about bleeding, bleeding the paint underneath, you could now, because that uh, chalk mineral paint, it's got like a bit of a, a rough surface, a rough touch. So the stencil material is not going to adhere completely to it means there's always a chance of a bleed of the paint underneath the um, underneath the stencil. If you want to avoid that, you do your first coat with, um, um, with gator hide or something like that. You can use that and come back then after that dried with your stenciling um, paint you want, want to use. But I am not too worried about the bleeding. I'm just rubbing it down nicely. And I'm going to take the... You can see, you see this is lifting up, you know, it's not completely um, adhered to the paint so you've got to pull it back a bit careful that it stays nicely on there bit of a tricky process but it's gonna be fine that's it You see I've used, um, it's like two pieces because the first one I've cut wasn't enough. And now that's it. Just keep it down carefully up. It's always a bit of a tricky process. I've done one with a, with a golf ball and all the dimples on there so you can imagine <laughs> that it took me a moment to get all the bits and pieces down That's it. if you um i mean this 
this is a stencil I'm probably going to do in a super stencil material also because I think that's quite nice and um, you want to have a stencil which you want to reuse you use um, a different material which I'm probably going to do this is the first time I'm using it, it and I'm usually just like checking how I like it and if it's worth doing multiple um, projects with it. So that's off. Now I'm just um, trying to get the corners down as good as possible. Drop them nicely down. Outside. And um, have you done some stenciling yourself? Do you like it or are you always having stomach ache when you're doing it? Or I think when you do um, especially projects like this in it's got a bit of a vintagey look and stuff like that. It's 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 no problem because if there's some bleed through or whatever, that's not too bad. So you can see it's nicely down now. There's some little corners here. Put this down. And I like this type of royally, those wreaths and crowns and I think I've got everything down. Do you see another corner that's not rubbed down properly? Thank you, Marsha. And the stenciling we're going to do in the Mason Dixon Grey. It's a contrast to the white. And when you stencil, I'm just gonna get right here. No. Board. Load the paint. So, get this here. This is just like a cutting board from the kitchen, an old one, which got um, upgraded to painting now for me. And uh, sorry, I just gotta have a drink. Talking. Now I'm gonna show you the stenciling. For stenciling, um, you usually use like um, something like this, like um, a flat top brush. Um, with natural bristles because they're pretty hard and you can uh, nicely um, stencil with them. As this is a pretty big project, I've got my big stencil brush which is originally um, um, intended for uh, waxing, but I'm using it for stenciling because it goes quicker. And now I'm using my Mason Dix spray. And you only need a little, very little paint. You almost almost have like a dry, a dry brush. So what I'm doing, I'm just dabbing it in here and I'm unloading the paint first before I go over my project. And then I'm stabbing it up and down, which also, oh, you can see there's a um, stencil coming up there. Because the less paint you're using, um, the less the, it's gonna bleed underneath. Unload it and go over it. That's it. So, 
wherever you're watching from, if you want to try this paint yourself, you can go to the Dixie Bell page and um, check for your local retailer. As I said, I am a premier retailer in nearby Frankfurt in Germany. And um, if there is no local retailer next to you or in your area or whatever, throughout Europe, I can also ship the paint to you. So just shoot me a message or go to my web shop, which the address is um, on top of the, in the description. But first you check if there's a local retailer next to you and um, go from there. So just up and down, a bit of uh, paint, unloading it and go over it. That's it. You could do like different colors also, but I don't like this to have too many colors I like that classy and plain. I usually like a lot of colors, but this one I want to keep nice and classy and plain. Need to unload. And the nice thing with the stenciling material is that um, you, you see that you can um, see basically the um, underneath it's like shining through which makes it easier to align also this is the reason I'm I prefer using this material some people use normal um, sign vinyl or something like that you can use also but with certain projects um, it's too tacky for me I rather use this because it's um, like semi tacky there might some bleed through happening there, I can see, and maybe there and there. But as I said, I'm not too worried about that. So this is the first coat. I'm gonna use the hair dryer quickly. As I said, if you wanna avoid bleeding, what you do, you use um, Gator Height, uh, uh, some sort of top coat for the first coat cover it and uh, then the gator height basically is doing the bleed through and when you come back with your um, second cover with your stencil paint um, it won't uh, it's the the corners are basically sealed so nothing is going to happen again so sorry loud And you see at the moment I'm just using the paint out of the lid. Um, I probably won't. Yeah, super. That's me. <laughs> it's like I always look like a mess when I'm painting. Sorry about that, but um, it's no problem with those paints. Um, I said it in a video before. I'm allergic to almost anything, and with these paints, I don't have any problems. So, which is really good. So, unload the paint. Second coat. Just go over it quickly. And dabbing it up and down is also to oh, forgot to unload. Is also to avoid bleed through, which I'm not too worried about. But I don't want to have, um, don't want to force it. So. to be sealed off the whole thing at the end with um, with gator height because this is going to be used as a tray and, um, Just a little. I'm 
load so your brush is not soaked and then you just go over it I've got everything now I'm not quite sure I think I This is a spot I need to go over. That's beautiful, isn't it? I like it too. It's the um, it's the uh, Mason Dixon Gray from Dixieville, and um, it's almost got like um, like a lavendery um, sur note to it. It's very very pretty. It's not, it's not so dirty, it's, it's like a fresh, oh, fresh grey, oh god, <laughs> you know what I mean. <clears throat> so, I think, I think that's covered. Anybody see a spot or anything? Let me know, otherwise I'll start to reveal and peel the stencil back. I'm not letting it dry. I peel the stencil back straight away because what can happen when, uh, when you have like fine details or something like that and you let the paint dry the paint sticks to the stencil and you, it can happen that you just rip it off. So just carefully. That's it. There you go. That's it. That's what it looks like now. What do you think? Do you like it? So, oh, I'm already on for over an hour again. So, sorry guys, it took long again. So that's basically what I wanted to show you, what you can do with it. I'm going to finish it off, um, basically off screen now. I think uh, I'm on long enough. Uh, I hope you like that. Uh, just leave me some thumbs up and um, so I'll just, I'll just pop you up again. Oh. There you go. I'll just hold it up so you can still see it. There you go. That's the project we've done tonight. And um, as I said, I hope you liked it. When you watch um, the replay, thank you, Marsha. Um, oh, thank you, Sonia. When you watch the replay, just um, say hello and um, put hashtag replay in the description uh, or in the comments that I know that you've watched it. And for everybody who is watching it and he, who is live with me today, thank you for popping in. I really appreciate you supporting me. I'm a small business over here in Germany and um, I'm very happy um, if you liked it and if there's anything you can take from it. As I said, I'm a premier retailer for Dixiebel over here in Germany. Um, when you want to use Dixiebel paints yourself, just uh, go to the Dixiebel page and uh, check for your local retailer in your area. Um, and if there is no retailer around you, um, just ask this Dixiebel or if you're around Europe and you haven't got one around you, I'll be happy to help you out with that also. Um, my friends, I'm thanking you again for popping in. I hope you liked it. Uh, recommend me to your friends and I hope to see you next time. I keep you informed um, when I'm back on. If you haven't done it yet, please like my page. Please, please, please. All right. Thank you guys. Bye bye.